So the ducks that we have here on campus are uh, one of the most common species of ducks and most cosmopolitan species of ducks in the world called mallards. And mallards are one of about 180 living species of ducks, geese, and swans in a group that we call waterfowl. These uh, animals for the most part are, you know, largely aquatic. Uh, but if we actually turn to the fossil record of waterfowl and their relatives, we see some very interesting side branches in the evolutionary history of waterfowl that we wouldn't know about at all if it weren't for fossils. And this includes uh, one of the largest birds to ever live, an animal called Dromornis sturtoni, uh, which uh, lived about 8 million years ago in Australia and stood about 3 meters tall and weighed about 650 kilograms. So the group, uh, the side branch of, of waterfowl called Dromornithids, extended through the fossil record until just a few thousand years ago when they went extinct. The lifestyle of the animals like Dromornis sturtoni would have differed very much from the uh, waterfowl that we have here on campus today. These animals weighed about 650 kilograms, some of the largest birds to ever live, and they likely would have eaten a huge amount of plant matter in order to sustain such enormous bodies. Living uh, ducks, geese, and swans all have webbed toes to help them paddle around in the water. But if we actually look at other living representatives of waterfowl outside of the small group of, of ducks, geese, and swans, which includes an animal called the magpie goose, as well as animals called screamers, we can see something very interesting about the evolution of the paddling foot. So screamers, which uh, within kind of the broader wild waterfowl group are more distantly related to all other waterfowl than any other groups are, uh, exhibit unwebbed feet. So these animals don't paddle around in the water so much as sort of walk uh, in, uh, in waterside habitats. And if we sort of move a little bit closer to ducks, geese, and swans, we can uh, look at this great animal called the magpie goose, which today lives in Australia. And the Latin name for magpie goose is Anseranus, is the magpie goose, semipalmata, which means it has semipalmated feet. That is to say, not fully webbed feet. So the webbing in a magpie goose sort of only extends uh, along the proximal part of the toes.